Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to new video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're gonna see problem. Shortest subarray to be removed to make the array sorted. I'll say it is not asked by so many companies, but it is a very, very, very important problem, and I really say that. Cool. Let's see what it says. It simply says that you are given an integer array arr, and you have to remove a subarray, and that can be empty also, which means you don't have to remove anything at all. Now we have to remove such that the remaining elements in the ARR are non-decreasing. I usually say non-decreasing as increasing or same. So usually I will say increasing. So as that we feel that okay, the remaining array should be increasing. And when I say increasing, it means increasing or same also and then increasing, which means non-decreasing itself. Now we have to return the length of the shortest subarray which we have to remove. Obviously, um, as we see the word shortest, we start thinking of a DP and by and such, but I'm not going in, in at that portion. It is just that we should know at the back of our head, maybe it is possible. Now, uh, coming on back, we will simply realize that, okay, let's see what the actual problem is. We will take the first example. We realized 1, 2, 3, 10, 4, 2, 3, 5. Ultimately, the answer is the 3. And by the explanation, they are saying that this portion is non-decreasing this portion is also non-decreasing and they will 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, which means non-decreasing and then it, this can continue after it. Thus, I will simply remove this portion and thus my minimum removal is 3. Same way for the next example, this portion is non-decreasing. This portion is also non-decreasing, but I cannot club it, which means I cannot just say after 5, I can have 1 and neither I can say before 1, I can have something. So either I will remove this entire portion so that only one will come or I will remove this entire portion so that only five will come because obviously one number is itself non-decreasing. Thus answer to remove will be four in this case. Answer is four. Last example, we will see okay the entire array itself is increasing. Thus I don't have to remove anything. Thus the answer itself will be zero. So what you realized in this specific example is that some portion of the array in the very beginning was increasing, some portion in the end was increasing. You try to simply find a location that I can attach that link from the beginning portion. I can attach a link to the end portion so that I can make my front and end as non-decreasing. And then whatsoever is in the like middle, I'll simply remove it. For that, if you look back very closely and repeat the same thing which I told you just now, what it did was you find something in the left portion which is increasing. When I say increasing, I ultimately mean non-decreasing only, which ultimately landed here. It cannot go forward because 1, 2, 3, 10, after 4 cannot come because it should be increasing. Also, when I come from the back because I'm looking for the right portion, right, in the right, in the end portion I'm looking, 2, 3, 5. Is that because four also cannot come. So right portion ended here. Now my task is that how I can leverage the fact I can club something in the end. So I am standing here. I should, let's say again, I have an option. I am here. I can, I can stand here also. I can stand here also. If you remember in the actual answer, he ultimately stood here. And then he tried to find what is the location in the end portion which I can attach to. Did, did, like, did you see my words? I tried to find, find as in I tried to search for something in the end portion where I can attach myself to. So he, this person, he tried to find and how he will find, okay, he might go from the end or he might go from the start here. And when I say start, I mean from this portion start because obviously, if I want to attach something, I can attach only after this red bar. That's it. So he's trying to search it. One way is to do a linear search, obviously, which will say for all these points in the left side, I am trying to do a linear search on the right side to find its corresponding point, which means that if I am at this location L, I will try to find the first point R, which is more than equal to ARR of L, which is two. Okay. Then, if again, this I'm trying to search it, then okay, let's see if I remove it, I, I am here, I will try to find the first portion after this, which is more than equal to two. Then if I'm here, I'll try to find the first portion, which is, which is more than equal to three, which is this. And you remembered 
I'm just doing a linear search. Obviously, if I do a linear search for all these points on the left side, I am roughly iterating on roughly half of the right side. So which is n points on the left side, I mean, it, it, it is in worst case n by 2, but for n by 2 points, I am iterating on the right side n by 2 points, which will be obviously o of n square, which is not, which will not work, which means ultimately I was doing a search. I can do a bind search also. So I know this is the portion. I have to find any element which is more than or equal to 3. I can simply do a binary search on this right portion of the array. And thus, with, with this, it will become n by 2 O of log of n by 2. But again, this is a simple thing which we are doing. Simply converting linear to binary search. But if you remember one thing, which we did in the same problem, 2070. Again, this is just two days back. We did the same problem and the same concept we saw there also. That when we are doing a search, we realize a very simple fact. When I was at L, I was looking for a location which is more than equal to 1. Okay, I was here. And again, when I say more than equal to 1, I am looking only in the right portion because that is the only portion which is sorted. So ultimately, I divided this entire array into three portions. One portion sorted in the left half then something in the middle and ultimately the portion in the right half which is sorted. So this is three portions which I have divided into and obviously what I will make sure is something I will bring it from here and something I will attach from here and this will become my ultimate array and thus anything which is in between will be removed. This is my ultimate maksad. So if I bring you back then I had L, I had R. Obviously I know that L is here, R will start ultimately from here. Next time Again, when I say L is here, which means I will remove this portion of the array, which means 1, 2, 3, 4. My answer so far is 4. The question for you right now here is, what will be your default value of answer? Take it, write it down and tell me because ultimately in the end, I will show you a edge case. Now, now what you will do? Okay, obviously you will try to move ahead your L. You will realize, oh, I don't want to move ahead my R. I, you'll see, I don't want to move ahead my R. R will only shift on one side which gives us a reference of two pointers which we are trying to use here. Okay, then the remaining portion of the array will be nothing but this, which is three. So I will reduce it. Again, answer is minimum length to remove. So I just want to reduce it. Okay, I reduced it. And how will you do it? It is R minus L minus one, five minus one, minus one. Cool. Then again, you will try to increase your L. What you will see? Oh, you will have to increase your R also. Again, you will see, R will simply increase. It will never go back. It will only go forward. Now, again, the distance will be 3. Okay, 3 will remain as is. Okay, try to increase your R, L. Okay, if I increase my L, I have to increase my R until it becomes more than equal to ARR of L. So, I will try to increase. Oh, it's still not there. Try to increase. Oh, it's still not there. Now, I have reached the end. I cannot increase any forward. So, uh, again, I will have to ultimately remove all this, which is 4 elements. Is it less than less, like, less than 3? No, obviously not. So my minimum answer to remove itself was a 3 itself in this case. Now, I told you that I will tell you something about the, about the base case. You were able to achieve this entire stuff because you knew that I had my some portion in the left which is increasing, some portion in the right which is increasing, and then some portion in the middle which is bakwas, bullshit thing. So you simply iterated your L, L pointer up till some left mark. You started your R pointer. If you remember, you started from your R pointer up till some or from some right mark. So from some right mark, you started. Thus you knew, okay, my L will simply move in this portion and will try to find the corresponding R in this portion. And then everything between it, I will simply assume I will remove it. What if things are overlapping, which means in this case, if I try to mark my left, again, when I say left, I am saying, if I keep on finding the location when things are increasing, if I try to find my left, okay, this is two is more than one, three is more than one. So left will come here. Again, this is left, which I marked. And then if I'm trying to mark my right, okay, three, two is less than three, one is less than three. So this is right. Ultimately, left should have been lesser than right. If it is overlapping, which means the entire array itself is increasing or I can say non-decreasing. In that case, you don't have to remove anything. Thus, answer by default is zero. So this is just one edge case which, which you have to make sure is if your left is more than equal to right, obviously it will be more than, but if it is more than equal to right, then simply return zero because you have entire array sorted. You don't have to remove anything at all. 
But there is one case also which I told you earlier, which obviously you might miss is that again, this I always say that you have to try by yourself so, so that you don't miss. In the very beginning, I initialized my answer. I did not. And I asked you what I will initialize with. So you should tell what I should do. In the very beginning, there's always a possibility as I am moving my left, as I am moving my left, I tried to, I tried to find my R and then I say, okay, this is a portion which I should remove. What if I don't even take my left at all? This is the corresponding example. If I would start my left here and then obviously my R start from here, it will try to find for location which is more than 16. So obviously it will try to go here, R. Thus he will try to remove this entire array and then L limit is up till here. So L limit will also be gone next time. So if you try to initialize your answer with the length of the array in the very beginning or maybe n minus one, then in this case, if you don't take, take, you don't take in consideration that left portion, you don't take anything at all, then you might get wrong answer. Repeat, repeat the same stuff, just what I spoke earlier. Again, repeat it if you don't understand it. So what I should do is, I should also take in consideration that I'm not taking this 16 at all, which means that my R starts from here itself. If it starts, which means I have to ultimately remove entire this element, which is, which is nothing but R elements. So by default, I should start with R as my number of elements or number of sub array or the size of the sub array, which I should remove. And then I can start off by saying L is this, and then corresponding R is this. For a specific L, keep on moving the R until you find more than equal to the ARR of L. And if yes, then simply try to minimize your current answer by R minus L minus one. And that is your simple answer. Cool, let's see the code quickly. Firstly, I told you I have to make these corresponding left and corresponding right. How I will make it? I will simply make sure that I simply iterate and find up till what point I can iterate so that things are strict, things are non-decreasing and up till what point I can iterate from backwards so that things are non-decreasing. So I simply have my L as zero, R as N minus one and N is the length of the array. I simply iterate from the left until the things are non-decreasing. I iterate from the right until the things are non-decreasing just to make these left and right. I told you the base case for us for this specific case is if my right, if my left is more than equal to right, in that case, the entire array is sorted. Don't do anything. Simply return zero. Don't have to remove anything. If not, then simply assign your answer with right because of this as a case, which you have to make sure. And then L is zero because in the very beginning, I will say L is zero and R will be nothing but right itself, which is right. R is right. And then simply keep on moving your L up till your right, sorry, left portion. So my L will keep on moving until my left portion. And then for any specific L, I will have to find a specific location of R such that ARR of R is more than equal to ARR of L. So I'll keep on having my left and I will say find R such that ARR, again, if ARR of R is less than a of l which means i should move and if ultimately it break down from here so it can be two possibilities either i have reached the very end or i have actually a of l is more than equal to a of r which i wanted ultimately and if yes then minimize your answer by the existing answer and r minus l minus one and then increase your l to try for the next l value and ultimately return the corresponding answer. Cool, I hope you guys got it. Simply time and space, time is O of N, space is O of one, and that's how we can solve it. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do smash the like button. It helps a lot. See you in the next two under there. Goodbye, take care. Do follow on Twitter. We are very active right now on Twitter. And again, follow on Discord, Telegram, LinkedIn, but Twitter is the main right now. Bye-bye, take care.